Hey, what's up guys? My name's the number one prayer, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a Penta Chem Strike, five Chem Strikes in a single game. Once again, this is my second second Penta Chem Strike to date, and hopefully I will be getting them more in the near future. But for now, this gameplay is a pretty good gameplay for me. I mean, I haven't got a Hexer or a Scepter yet, but I am on the road on the course to try and get this gameplay for you guys. And unfortunately, in this gameplay, I did end up choking the Hexer. And the way I choked the hex is that I was one off and the game ended. Yeah, so you can imagine my, you know, in in inner fury and inner rage. But in fact, I wasn't even angry. I was just gutted because personally this team that I was playing with was a really, really good team. And they did pretty much everything right. Literally everything right. They were in their positions. They were holding spawns correctly. And um, the game was going perfectly well. It was just the enemies that were, you know, killing me off streaks every now and again. I think I went on, like, another 16 or 17 as well. So I definitely had, like, enough kills to go for the uh, Hexer and that. Um, so I really, really did choke um, halfway through as well. But then I got to the last streak. I got my Penta by 150 or 40 kills. I'm not sure. And um, I literally just, you know, killed, killed them and um, carried on and got one off. About 190, no, about two off, no, oh my god, I'm lost. About three off or four off on 196 points. I got three quick kills, but unfortunately the fourth one was not there, and I was really, really upset um, looking back it because I counted up all the kills and stuff like that because obviously I called in the chem strikes and it like, messed up the little kill streak thing where it says what kill streak you're on at the side. So I got really confused. And I got another 25 and I was like, where's my cam, where's my cam, where is it? And I kept on rushing and rushing and unfortunately I fell short of one. And I was really, really unhappy about it, so that sucked. But a Penta, a Penta is still a Penta, a Penta is a really good gameplay nonetheless. And it's not on strikes and it's on free fall for once. This is my first actual gameplay on free fall to do with support. So hopefully you guys do enjoy, you know, the video in the background. I will be getting this hex for you guys, so um, that would be really awesome when I do but if you guys did enjoy this gameplay make sure to leave a like rating down below let's try and reach 50 likes in this video that'd be insane if we could and uh, yeah that's basically it for the gameplay I'm just gonna quickly give my teammates or uh, my support team a you know a quick shout out for you know helping me out getting you know these um getting this gameplay um, because obviously I wouldn't have done it without these guys so um, a quick shout out to when I load it up because there we go, and um, the team that I was playing with was Green Bongo, Pass to the Right, Tranny Gandalf, Kenko Jenko, and Rapid Shots. These five teammates did an amazing job at holding spawns, as I said before. We did a really, really good job. Unfortunately, at the end, it slipped up. I don't know what happened. I don't know whether it was just the enemies flipping around. It might be probably my fault, um, but these guys did an amazing job. Um, Kenko Jenko, by the way, out of these guys, has a YouTube channel. So go check out his channel in the description down below. I mean, I'll list the names if you want to add any of these guys in the description down below if you guys want to add them or whatever. But Kenko Jenko has a channel, so make sure to go check him out. Um, he does some Call of Duty videos and stuff like that, so I think you guys will enjoy that. And, you know, it'd be nice for me to, you know, give a thank you for shouting him out for helping me in this gameplay. So, yeah, that's the, that's the really good team that I was playing with. And uh, hopefully these guys will be able to, you know, cooperate with me again if I can go for another gameplay that'd be awesome if we could and uh, yeah that's basically it and yeah just a quick note guys if you ever want to you know play with me or run support or just play with me in general it's up to you um, make sure to message me on Xbox and send me a friend request don't I won't add you if you don't tell me who you are because a lot of I get a lot of friend requests every day from like people who have just been in the lobby with me and stuff like that but um if you guys message me and tell me who you are, if you're a sub, if you want, if you watch my videos, if you just want to like, run support, or just play with me, and just tell me because um, then I'll be able to tell who's who and then I'll know who to add. So yeah, if you guys want to, then feel free to. So that's basically it for the gameplay and the commentary and related towards that. I'm just going to quickly go on about Advanced Warfare and what I think is going to happen in terms of the sales and the, the actual life cycle of that game. And it's, I don't, you know, I'm not educated in the news and like everything about it because you can go to Ecola Espresso for that. He does all the, you know, the news and um, stats and stuff like that on uh, the new Advanced Warfare game before it's even come out, which is absolutely crazy. But I just want to, you know, be surprised by the game and um, just play it as it comes. So it's more fun to me to play um, when I do play it. So 
I'm going to just quickly talk about how I think it's going to fare in the next year. So, personally, I don't think it's going to do well. And I don't, it's just the feeling, the fact that all these like adjustments they've done to what a regular Call of Duty uh, game would be, such as these exoskeleton suit abilities and stuff like that. I'm not, you know, into too in depth about it, but um, you, got, you guys can like jump and run faster and do stuff that, you know, something that a normal human can't do which is you know crazy but I just think it's too much I think it's too much I don't think it's gonna do well um, it's just gonna be like another halo stroke time for which is probably not what people want people want Call of Duty as Call of Duty it's the best selling first person shooter and they just want people want Call of Duty they don't want Halo and time fall over again um, time fall was really hyped up and it just it just didn't live up to you know the hype it was a good game but it just didn't live up I, I mean I didn't play it but from what other people have said it was a good game but just wasn't good enough and if Call of Duty are not, you know, portraying the same role or similar roles to what um, Titan 4 are going to be doing then I just don't think it's going to work I mean there's a lot of good things that are going to be about it I mean it's going to be apparently rewarding for people who stay in the whole game stuff like that um, which is going to be good because it's going to you know, encourage people to stay in the game for the whole duration because I hate rage quitters and that's going to be a bonus I mean that's something that's going to you know make me want to play it more often because a lot of people on Ghosts as you guys know they always rage quit and it winds me up like mad can't stand people that rage quit I mean just really bugs me so um yeah that's going to be a positive and plus the matchmaking is probably going to be better than Ghosts and Black Ops 2 because Black Ops 2 was AIDS and Ghosts isn't great either um it's just really weird and there's just a lot of things I just wish and hope that would be in the game, which I know it won't. I mean, Sledgehammer is probably a better, you know, developer um, in terms of, you know, what's it, multiplayer instead of, like, Infinity War and stuff like that. Because they listen to the community more from Modern Warfare 3, what I gathered. And um, I presume there's going to be less bullshit in the game. Um, I really do hope they will. But I'm not sure if it's going to, you know, play out well for pub stomping. Um, obviously as I'm a pub stomper I want it to play well for pub stomping but I'm not too sure so we'll see how it goes I personally don't think it's going to do well and the problem is if it doesn't do well it's probably going to be the end of the Call of Duty reign in terms of the top um, you know first person shooter I think Ghost is probably its last chance uh, no not last chance second to last chance and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will be the last straw of um, you know popularity and stuff like that Otherwise, the game's just going to go downhill, unfortunately. I mean, Call of Duty is a great game overall. It's just the things they really need to sort out and they really need to listen to the community in terms of trying to do well. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the end of the video. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed the gameplay, if not the commentary. I mean, the commentary was a bit all over the place, but I'm just going to, you know, I just gave my opinions on how well I think it's going to do um, next year. Um, let me know what you guys think, whether you think Advanced Warfare is going to shine or if you think it's going to damper the COD community. So we'll see how it goes. Make sure to drop a comment and a like down below. That would be awesome if you guys could. Um, unfortunately, the hex art was a choke and it's just sad. I'm sad, I'm sad. But um, hopefully a hex will be out in the near future from me. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the gameplay. Have an awesome day, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.